Alright, so uh, yesterday I went to go start my truck and had no power. I checked and did not leave anything on. So that wasn't an issue. Got a pretty normal battery in there. It's about a year old. Um, I'd already previously cleaned the connections on the battery and the alternator, but I still checked them anyways. And uh, I was, so uh, you should have some uh, brushes, something like this, to uh, clean your connections on your battery, alternator, whatever else. And um, so that wasn't the issue either. But I did feel that the uh, positive cable was not quite as tight as it should be. So uh, I kind of noticed it when I put that new battery in there that it didn't feel that great when I was trying to tighten it down. I felt like it was trying to strip. So what ended up being was this old battery uh, bolt right here that's only partially uh, threaded. So you can only get a few threads in there, so I throw it all the way like it should be. And um got a little bit of wear on it. Not exactly uh a great idea to have something that's not fully threaded when you're trying to thread into a battery gives you a good connection. And uh that was a positive. And this is a negative right here, which is slightly better, but it's still not threaded all the way, so you can't uh Tighten it up, you know, past the threads, the, the few threads that actually are there. So, yeah, kind of noticed, uh, like the last few times I started my truck, that um, it didn't, it sounded a little bit strange, like it was, uh, had a bad connection. So, went to a parts store, got some uh, brand new bolts here, and they are fully threaded. So, I think they have pretty much any parts over over in the uh, battery session. I've gotten um, three sets of these so far. Set for my truck, set for my car, and then I got a spare set because if I want to pull out battery and uh, charge it, screw these into the post, hook on the battery cables out here. So um, yeah, it's definitely good to have a spare set. We want to uh, charge up a battery. And um, I also like to keep a uh, 5 16 wrench in uh, my car and my truck because that's what these typically are. And um, so if you've got you an older vehicle that's like 15, 20 years old, you should check these uh, battery cables to see if you have the newer style like this or you have the old style like that because that can cause a bad connection. But uh, get out these old ones. And new ones, I said we just got my big pliers right here, grabbed onto them, held the cable, twisted, wiggled, they got out the old ones, and then uh, just uh, put the new ones in, just you know, held the cable and twisted, pushed in. Uh, they will fight you a little bit, but uh, anyways, it's, it's definitely worth it because after putting in these uh, brand new ones, um, I tell you what, I noticed that the, the engine turned over faster. I mean, it definitely sounded like it had a new battery in it versus, you know, an old sound battery. I turned the AC full blast. I noticed the voltage was higher, so probably the alternator was probably not able to fully put the power to the battery because of the bad connection. But, um, yeah, after putting these in, it's like, you know, I can feel, you know, I'm trying to tighten them down, they're gripping. They're, you know, pushing those cables up against that battery post. So, yeah, definitely a good investment. Uh, so these was, for two of these, they come in two packs, was about uh, $6 at the local parts store. Probably getting cheaper at Walmart. I know I think I, I, can't, I, think I got uh, two sets of these at Walmart. Um. Probably can get them at Target, some other places too, but um, yeah, definitely a good investment. But um, there's no replacement for good parts, or I should say new parts. And um, let's see, and uh, I think that's about it.